you want to see some energy down to 43s and then we'll talk through how you can then start playing this for the continuation move. I may have to step away from the screen just to make sure that the ladder is actually showing us enough space. So we're now in at 51 and this is that move back up onto that trigger point area. So you're thinking here, short 51, you want your stops then back up above 53s, maybe 54, 55 area. And then once we start coming off, you've seen a little bit of energy and the DAX likes to do this, it'll stab and then it starts to trade down. So we're now through 43. If you want to add on to this trade, you could be adding on at 43. And this, this is the bit that makes you sort of a little bit nervous. We're not pushing through 43, but by being in from that trigger area, you're getting the chance to hold on. Now I'll just scroll this down a little bit so that we can see how the next part of the trade plays out. So remember, you're now thinking, right, below 43, I want to be in this trade, I want to stay in this trade. And you're looking, ultimately, your target is down at 06s. So you're now getting a little push down, push down to 33. Now we get a little bit of an exhaustion. So now we've seen this, how are you going to stay in the trade? And this is a key part of this trade, or how can you actually re-enter this trade as well? And what you can see here in the DAX is we've got volume done just below 41. We've then got this little area of volume um, up between 35s and 37s. You're also now seeing volume trading down below 33. So in terms of adding to this trade, you can be looking 32 and a half, 33, using this low volume area. So this is what I call an LVN passive continuation trade. Using that low volume as your risk. So effectively you're selling 32, 33 area with your stop up above 35, 36s. Target wise, you're then looking down towards 06s still. We start struggling at 26. But note on the pullback, 33 holds come off again. And this is where you require a little bit of patience. You've done the hard work in getting into the trade. We've got in at 53s. We've got the breakthrough 43s. We now struggled at 36s. And so this is where you can think, right, I'm still willing to add back on as we um, run back higher. So as long as we stay below 32s, you're willing to stay in this trade. Still thinking that 06 is gonna be your target. We now once again struggling around 26s. So that's, that's one key area now, that, uh, 26s. And this then starts to take its time in the way that the market comes off. Continue to hold 26s. But you're now round about 20 ticks on side. You can let this trade go. You can let wait it out a little bit down to 06s. What you're getting from a candlestick point of view as well, another way to help you stay in this trade, you're getting um, one time framing on a one minute candles. So each candle, if you put your stop above the high of the previous, you don't get stopped out on it. So that's another way to keep you in this trade. So you've got the passive LBN trade to get you in or keep you in. We then just had another little push down and then you can use that one time frame in to allow you to stay in this trade. What we actually get, and I won't play the video all the way back for five minutes as, as we get the retracement, but we get the first move down as far as 12s, which is pretty much just where we're at now. What we then get is a bounce all the way back. And if you keep your offers there, keep in mind this area that we've struggled at, this move back, top of that high, 33. And then you get that final move down to 06s.